I've been working on a review of the Radsa 06 board now for months, it seems like, and I'll get to that very soon. In fact, I am just wrapping up my testing on it. But uh, something came in the mail today. It's this, the open bench table for the Raspberry Pi. Now, I actually have the ATX size. This is the ITX size for ITX boards, like the Radsa Orion 06. And, uh, you know, this is an ITX motherboard. It has a PCIe slot with, you know, you can put a PCIe card over there and you can put a power supply underneath. Why, why, <laughs> sorry, why, why you need this for a Raspberry Pi? I mean, probably 99.9% .9 of Raspberry Pi owners don't need this thing, but the fact that it exists is great. And for the, like, I don't know, one in a thousand people that might actually get use out of this. It's kind of cool. I, I, I shouldn't be so dismissive. This, this does have its utility. This is an extremely rigid uh, desktop mount that raises the pie off your desk, I guess. And it, it comes with these little guys. So let me show you how this actually works. This is how it's shipped. See this? The, this is the entire case. And I, I got to get a scissors to open this. So hold on a second. So you just cut right there. And uh, there's no manual included for ecological reasons or whatever, but uh, this is machined aluminum. Get it out of the sleeve. And this is the whole thing. If you've never used an open bench table, this is, well, that just fell out. But anyway, it, it, it all fits within the space. This fits in your pocket. It's only a tiny bit bigger than the Raspberry Pi. But the whole point is uh, you could have this in a drawer or in your pocket or somewhere and quickly set it up. It takes about two minutes to get it into this state and they come in silver and black. Now I will, uh, you know, I, I put a sponsorship thing on here. I'll label it. This was sent to me. They didn't pay anything for this. I just, <laughs> when, when they asked, when Streetcom or whoever makes these open bench tables asked, uh, do you want to have one of these to test? I was like, this is, it's ridiculous, but also I kind of get it. Um, and so I said, yes, please send me one. I mean, there, there's not much to it. You, you, you literally, you unscrew these things. I, I'll set it up for you. Hold on. Let me get you situated on the tripod here. And yes, spoiler alerts for the Radso Orion 06. If you look at what's in the background there, but I'll show you how this goes together. So you just take these things, you unscrew these. I'm not gonna do the full thing uh, but you basically unscrew all of these little guys. Okay, I'll, I'll just do it. It's, it's not that hard. You don't need any tools for any of this stuff, which is nice. Uh, most Pi cases you don't. Although, if you remember the, uh, what was it, the Pi, the Pi Iron Man 5? Holy cow, that needed a lot of, that was a lot of work. Uh, but on the back side here, you stick this in here, I think. Yeah, there's one on here, like so. Okay, and the other one. And this is very similar, just a lot fewer screws uh, to the ITX and ATX open bench tables. And uh, yeah, so let's see here. Unscrew it, screw this in here. Everything is machined very nicely. I mean, there's a reason these things cost so much. I, th I think this is 40 bucks or 50 bucks. It has pads on the bottom so it doesn't move. And then you put these screws in. <laughs> there's only one space for them to go. So you just put them in here and then yeah, if I can get them started. And of course, this isn't just for the Raspberry Pi. It works with any SBC. So if you are a Intel aficionado, you can put a Radsa X4 on here. If you hate Raspberry Pi with a passion, you can put an orange Pi on here, uh, but you just place it on it and then you put these screws in through it and then you have a hard mounting point for a hat. So if you have a PCIe hat or some other hat that you want to put on top, you can. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, there's not a whole lot to it. It's just, I don't know. In the comments, wh what do you think of this? I, I just thought it was comical, but now that I've put these together, I kind of, I kind of dig it. And I might be using one of these at my desk. Here's the thing. When I'm working on an ITX board like this, it is very nice to have this platform. It has these things on the sides where you can mount like a radiator if you need a lot of cooling. You can mount a fan on here. You just move these and, and kind of screw a fan into it. 
and that's what all these extra screws on the side are for, as well as mounting points for a power supply underneath. And so th this can literally be like an entire PC. I just stuck my finger right into those pins. That hurts. Um, but anyway, this can be like an entire PC that I can move around. And the cool thing was, this whole thing, when you, when you take it apart and put it back flat, it can slot into a drawer or it can put, you can put it under something like over here. This, this is my ATX version. So this, this is how the BC1 Mini comes. I usually have it in this box, but right now I'm working on that 06. Uh, but here's all, all my RAM. Um, <clears throat> but here's the BC1, the ATX. But see how small that is? Like you can fit that almost anywhere. Uh, ATX is a little bit bigger, but, but anyway, you, you get my point. The things that I'm thinking are, if they do a second version of this, I hope they revise this a little bit because now that I have it together, I do want them to do a couple things. If they could put some screw holes in here so that I could screw in a fan on the side over the whole thing, that'd be kind of cool. I do also have the Raspberry Pi water block right there. So, you know, the other thing that this could be good for is if you are overclocking a pie, which uh, there's like at least 10 of us out there, if you're doing that kind of thing, having a bench table like this could be nice to have the space to put, um, you know, different cooling apparatus up here. I know Scatterbencher, who I think was the one who actually uh, put me onto this in the first place, uh, Scatterbencher is doing like nitrogen NO2 pots and things, and there's like a teeny tiny one that fits on that chip. And you're, you know, he's hacking the voltage rails coming off of here. So doing that, th this is nice for that. <laughs> you can literally just buy a, a bumper. Uh, but this does give you access to the bottom side, which if you're overclocking a pie, you actually want to cool the bottom. Uh, the, the top is important, but this whole, the whole pie is kind of like a heat sink to the processor. So you want to cool the bottom side of it really well. So the bumper actually insulates, there's a little ventilation, but it mostly insulates the bottom. I, I don't know, tell me in the comments if you think this is the dumbest thing in the world or brilliant or something in between. I have a feeling some people will just not get it at all. Other people appreciate it for the art that it is. And uh, I don't know, for me, I just thought this was the funniest thing I had seen in a long time because in, in some ways it's so unnecessary. <laughs> But, uh, but I don't know. W would I pay $50 for it? That's the big question. Would, would I pay? I think it's 50 bucks. I will put a big thing up here with the actual price. It, would I pay 50 for that? No, no, I would not. But are there some people that will? I guarantee there are. I don't think there will be too many, but uh, this is kind of a, kind of a niche product. Definitely not as utilitarian as this guy but also it's not useless. So the BC1 Pi, my review, it's not useless.